So the Meprolite M21 reflex sight, let's check it out. I've always wanted to try some Meprolite sights. Um, I'm a big fan of the reflex sight, which the M21 is a reflex sight, uh, but I really like the Trigicon reflex and have a number of them. Uh, and really the Meprolite is very comparable to Trigicon. One of the things that Meprolite does though is they are battlefield tested, and so are Trigicon. Uh, but these are tested in the desert by the Israeli Defense Forces. Uh, and have been in service for a number of years. In fact, these were designed along with Israeli Special Forces and fit really nicely on the Tavor rifle. These are really quick acquisition sites. In fact, the first reflex site made for close quarter combat specifically. Uh, here I've got it on a Tavor, uh, which is the natural uh, environment <laughs> for the Meprolite M21. The Meprolite has a lot of great features. One of the things is more passive. Uh, there's no battery, no electronics. There is a small tritium chip in there to illuminate the site in low light. And then we have these windows here that are for fiber optic and it picks up light. So when you're in the dark, you have a small, very dim illuminated light. Then when you go into brighter light, even in the house or you go outside where it's a really bright backdrop, uh, the fiber optic really kicks in and makes this really easy to pick up. Here we have the QD mounts. Uh, they just pop off. This came with the rifle. You can get standard Picatinny mounts. It has the bars right here and locks down onto the Picatinny rail quickly. Uh, one of the things that's really cool about this site is that it's sighted in at the factory. Now, I, I was curious about that because I had read that in a couple of places and I thought, well, if, if you're putting it on a rail, the right, it has to be in line with the rifle. I put the M21 on this little BCM um, first time. I didn't even sight this in, didn't bore sight it or anything. This was the first group, and then I took it off, put it back on. Here's the second group. I mean, it was hitting immediately out of the box. I'm shooting HPR 223 VMAX, 62 grain, and these are easy to see targets. There's a small triangle in this one. There are four different type reticles you can get. Uh, the triangle, the dot, you can get an open X, and you can also get a bullseye setting. Uh, I chose the triangle because you can use the tip of the triangle to get accuracy. And to me, that really makes a big difference. Now, the problem is in a triangle at the bottom, it actually covers at 100 yards, 19 inches. So about the width of a man. So really, you can designate that triangle. To me, it's, it's one of the best options. But it lightens, it has an amber, orangish color to it. You're going to get a fiber optic brightness. And then in low light, the tritium kicks in for a very small dim, but yet easily discernible reticle. The light gathering is not only around the top, but it's also around this front section right here. So you've got a lot of light capability to be able to get to that site. And I'm sure immediately looking at the glass, it is reflective. Uh, one of the things they include is a kill flash and very easy to attach. Uh, some of the kill flashes I've used in the past really dim down the field of view, but I really didn't have that much trouble. It was really bright sunlight, but this really held up very well and I took it on and off checking it. Now, the other thing about this site is that it actually has a little bit of a blue tint 
when you're looking through it. Uh, it's almost unnoticeable, but it's just enough to where, if you're really thinking about it, uh, it does have just a slight blue tint, which is actually designed for more desert arid fighting. The sight is easily dismounted by popping the levers and then just pulling the sight off. You can see the bars underneath that lock down that'll hold it to the Picatinny rail. Uh, there are standard Picatinny mounts as well, but they're the same price. So I definitely like the QD. Now at the range immediately, bringing the rifle up, you, you're definitely right on target. Um, you know, the, the dot is centered up into the circle. It is again a 30 millimeter lens and it just comes together very nicely, very quick, that you just pick it up. It is kind of an amber-orange, more really toward the orange side, but very quick, easy to pull up, bring my sights up. Co-witness is dead on with the sights. I mean, the top of that post through this aperture, it is right there at the top of that post. It really surprised me, honestly, uh, because I'd heard it, but once I put it on, and again, I didn't sight it in or anything, but I'll tell you, it's just a uh, very natural shooting sight. Also well suited for the AR. I mean, it goes right on, again, dead on. <laughs> it's just funny to me because I, I look through the sight, and that orange triangle is on top of the sight. So, uh, they do set this up, and this is going to really, especially you guys that don't have a laser bore sighter, because you can spend a lot of ammunition trying to chase uh, where your rounds are going. Uh, but it really fits the build for me. I, I was afraid it might be too large, but once I really got it out, uh, being able to see that sight so quickly, uh, you know, it really made a big difference. The blue tint, I mean, it's there. You can see it, but it's very light, very faint. It's almost like a polarizer. So I really don't see that as a downside. The optic without the mount weighs 8.11 ounces with the mount 13 ounces. Uh, so it is a fairly heavy sight, uh, probably more in line with an ACOG or again, EOTAC and things like that. Uh, the, it's a four and a half in length. It's two and a half inches in width and two and three quarter inches in height. Now it's large. I mean, you can see how big it is. And you know, if you want to compare it though to the EOTAC, you know, it's about the same size, or one of the new Trigicons. Uh, they're pretty large as well, which that gives you a large field of view. It has a 30 millimeter lens in it, so it's going to gather a lot of light. Um, some of the other red dots, like your small aim point, your T1, T2, and uh, even your smaller Trigicon reflex and other sights, little micro dots, have a very small aperture. And this gives you a way to really get your target really quick. So it's super quick target acquisition. Now, Meprolite guarantees the tritium for 10 years. Typically, i found that most of these sites will go quite a bit longer than that. Uh, then you can send it back to Meprolite and have them to replenish this, the optic. I know I did that with my Trigicon, and um, it went for almost 15 years. So, you know, that gave me a lot of light. It's instant on. I don't have to worry about electronics uh, failing, because I don't care what you have. Electronics can fail. Uh, definitely some of the, the better companies, like Aimpoint, have perfected a lot of that but it's still, there is a possibility. Meprolite makes a compatible 3X magnifier. Uh, it's called the MX3 that just mounts behind it like all of your magnifiers and co-witnesses with this sight. So if you really want some more magnification, you can bring it up and use it in conjunction with your sight. Now the sight is made to be a zero to 300 yard optic. Uh, because of the way the reticle is, getting on sight, uh, again, to me with the triangle, you're able to get that tip and get a little bit more focus. Uh, one of the things though about it, 19 inches, that's about the width of, of an average man, and you can line up that reticle between his shoulders. Um, and so that definitely is an advantage and really would help in range estimation. But these sights are made to, for really quick acquisition. They're made to get right on target, keeping both eyes open where you can see things in your peripheral vision and to be able to really uh, take advantage of your eyesight. One of the problems with a scope is when you bring it up and you put it up next to that, that ocular lens, you know, it really changes a lot of the way you see things. Uh, with this, you're seeing it just like you're looking out and just seeing it. 
And so all you do is just put your dot on it and you know that you're ready to fire. And you know, it's just a really cool system. The site is built like a tank, has one housing unit all the way around. Uh, these are waterproof, fogproof, shockproof. Uh, these are made for combat. In fact, they've served with the IDF for a number of years and continue to serve with those forces and they go through a lot of use. Now the site is solid construction, but not only is it screwed together, there's also adhesive to bind that even closer. So this site is pretty much indestructible. If you ever get a lot of dust and debris in here, all you have to do is just take water and just wash it out. Right here is your windage setting. Uh, you can use a screwdriver and of course a spent shell for that matter to adjust your windage. And your elevation screw is right here. Okay, now here I've got the reticle in my sights and uh, you can see the triangle. Actually, it's coming out pretty decent. Uh, as we bring it back though, and of course the cameras, you can see it is getting bigger, uh, the triangle itself. And then as we're pushing out, it will get smaller. Now, I'm definitely up right next to the site, and so you're going to be back some. But it's still, honestly, your site picture looks about like that. And I'm in shade looking out into bright sunlight, and you can see how much that reticle is still shining. If you're in a dark room and you're looking into a bright area outside, uh, you can you can just wash the reticle out. I tried it in a couple of different places. It does definitely wash it out, but I was still able to pick it up. But I think in a high stress situation, that could be an issue. Uh, they do make a device that fits on here that helps to mitigate that, but um, we'll check and see if I start really feeling like that that's a downside. I think it does kind of stick out the side and uh, I don't know that I'm really interested in doing that. Now while the M21 fits the Travor like a glove, it's also at home on the AR-15. And shooting, being able to bring up those quick shots, it's just really handy. Uh, it doesn't take the rifle off balance, it just seems to be right on target. I was shooting steel at about 25 yards, just bringing the rifle up and firing, and just repeatedly hitting that steel over and over. Uh, so, you know, I knew that I was getting my shots. Uh, with the Devor, same thing. I mean, it was just dead on, and again, the sight was already on. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking about the rifle rest I'm using. It's foamactionsports.com. Uh, they're very reasonable, a really cool little sight. They're super lightweight, about two ounces, so so easy to take out. So, if you're interested, I'll have the link down below in the description. Now, to get more information about the site, you can go to meprolite.com. These are available at Optics Planet. I believe the price was like $5.24 with the mount. Uh, one of the cool things about Optics Planet, uh, and I want to thank them, they did send this for the test and evaluation. Uh, they are giving a 5% discount if you order from Optics Planet using Suit00 when you check out. And I really appreciate those guys doing that because it just helps you guys, especially when you're looking for different things. And that includes, though, anything you want to purchase on Optics Planet, not just the M21. And I'll have all the links down below in the description where you can just click on it and go right to the site. I want to thank HPR for furnishing the ammo. Uh, we shot about 300 rounds, and it really gave us a lot of ammunition to be able to go through these rifles to test this site out. The Meprolite M21 reflex sight, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Meprolite does, Meprolite makes an, uh, it's real easy to put back on and, okay. <coughs> God, that bug spray is about to kill me.